Lesson four will be factoring perfect square trinomials. So pasin natin perfect squares pa din tayo. So mahalaga pa din i-connect natin dun sa lesson two. Alam pa din dahil talaga natin yung perfect square numbers. Then trinomials. So meron tayong three terms. So this is special product na tackle natin na kapag meron tayong square of a binomial, let's say a plus b square, kapag sinimplify natin yan, so square the first term, multiply the first and the second, ab times 2. So that is 2ab. Then square the second term, then plus b squared. Ito ngayon yung tinatawag natin na perfect square trinomial. Yan. Likewise, kapag meron tayong a minus b square, yan ay square the first term, a squared minus, multiply the first term and the second term, times 2. So 2ab, then plus, square the second term, b squared. Ito din ay... Kapag sinimplify, yan yung perfect square trinomial. So, pansinin natin, to check the perfect square trinomial, kung perfect square trinomial ba talaga siya, dapat si first term at si third term ay perfect squares. Then, yung middle term natin ay the product of the square root of the first term and the sec and the third term times 2 so pansinin din natin na dito sa PST natin si first term tsaka si third term laging positive matandaan niyo yon so pag finactor out natin siya ito naman yung lalabas is square of a binomial try natin ng examples in example number 1 x squared plus 12x plus 36. So, first step, i-check nyo muna kung perfect square trinomial siya. First term and the third term must be perfect squares. x squared, perfect square siya. Last term, 36, perfect square din siya. Tama. First condition natin. Then, the middle term must be the product of the square root of the first and third term. So, square root the x squared is x. Square root the 36 is 6. x times 6, 6x six times 2. So, 6x six times 2, 12x. So, tama siya. Perfect square trinomial. So, kung natin yung factor niya, sabi niya, ang factor natin ay square of a binomial. So, naka-square tayo. Then binomial, that means two terms. Then kill na natin square root nito. Square root of the first term, that is x. Sign of the middle term is positive. So positive yung sign natin. Then square root of the last term, square root of 36, that is 6. Yan. So ito na nga yung factor natin. Okay, number 2 tayo. I double check mo na ulit natin. 9x squared. Perfect square. Tama. 25. Perfect square din. Middle term. Square root of 9. That is 3. Square root of x. x. 25. Square root niyan is 5. So, pag minultiply natin, 3x times 5. 15x times 2. So, 15 times 2, negative 30x. Tama. Perfect square trinomial din siya. So, parenthesis, then, square natin ulit. Square root ni 9x squared is 3x. So, kuhin natin si 3x. Ang sign ng middle term is negative. So, kuhin natin si negative. Then, square root of 25, that is 5. Ito na ngayon yung factored form natin. Next example tayo, number 3. 27m squared plus 72mn plus 48n squared. 
Check natin si first term and last term. Perfect square. Kaya sila? 27, 48. Hindi sila perfect square numbers. So, paano yun? So, sa lesson 2 natin, na-discuss natin yung greatest common factor. So, sa factoring kasi, connected yon Dapat master mo natin yon So, baka may GCF sila. Check natin kung may common factor sila. 27, 72, and 48. May common factor sila. Divisible sila ng 3. Yan. So, divisible lahat sila ng 3. Okay. So, variable, may M tayo, may M, walang M. Walang N, so wala. So, 3 lang talaga ang common factor nila. Then, divide natin. 27 divided by 3, 9. Since wala namang variable ang ating common factor, so, kapay na lang natin si M squared. Next, 72 divided by 3, Divide natin. 72 divided by 3. Kung pwede yung mental, kaya naman. So, mas maganda. 2, 6, 1, then 4. 24. Anong sign? Positive. So, positive 24. Copy yung variable natin. M, N. Next, plus 48 divided by 3. So, that is 48 divided by 3, 4 divided by 3, 1, 1 times 3, 3, subtract 18, so this is 16. 18 divided by 3, 6, so 16. So 16, variable natin, n squared. n squared. The factor natin siya gamit ang greatest common factor. Now, i-check natin kung perfect square trinomial na siya. So, copy natin yung common factor na 3. And, check muna natin. 9m squared, oh, perfect squares. 16n squared, perfect squared din. Squared of 3, uh, squared of 9, that is 3. Squared of 16, that is 4. So, 4 times 3, that is 12, times 2, 24. So, tama. So, Perfect square number na ito. So, i-factor out natin yung PSD natin. Parenthesis, then, square tayo. Now, square root of 9, that is 3M. Plus yung gitna natin. So, plus 16, that is 4M. So, ito na ngayon yung ating factor form. Or pwede natin i-write. Pwede natin i-write na 3 times 3m plus 4n times 3n plus 4n. So, parehas lang din yan. So, naka-square tayo. So, tala mo, equivalent niya. Another example, number 4. Oh, the same case sila. Oh, check natin kung perfect square yung mga first and third term natin. Pero pasin na ninyo, 4, negative 40, negative 10. Kuyin mo natin yung GCF nila. So, ang common factor natin, 4, 40, and 10 ay 4. So, 4. How about sa variable? Meron tayong y. Y and y. So, 4 ay ang ating GCF. 4 divided by 4, that is 1. So, may y tayo din dito. So, may iwan na lang dyan ay x squared. Minus 40 divided by 4, that's 10. So, mawawala din si y, may iwan na lang si x. Next, plus 100 divided by 4, 25. Wala na ngayon si y. So, i-check natin kung perfect square trinomial. x squared is a perfect square. 25 is a perfect square. So, x 
square the x square is x. Square root naman ito ni 5 is 5. x times 5, 5x. Then multiplied by 2, 10. So, PS din siya. So, copy the GCF for y. Then, since perfect square trinomial yan. Yan. Then, we have x. Copy yung sign of middle term. Minus. Then, square root of 25. So, ito na ngayon yung ating factor for. So, ayan, si perfect square trinomial. So, pansinin ninyo, combination na siya ng lesson 2, the greatest common factor, and the lesson 3, the difference of 2 squares. So, integration. So, i-co-connect natin yun. Kaya, hindi nyo kailangang makalimutan yung lesson na na-discuss natin previously. So, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe.